Alright, um, hello, I am MC Netherbits, and um, today I have a special tutorial for you because I was just thinking one day and I just decided to build this and I decided to make a video about it. So, here it is, this is the combination lock that I have made. Now don't, don't freak out over this stuff if you're a beginner because it's actually very simple. It's simply four different logic gates, and um, we talked about three of them. Um, this is an OR gate, the, these are NOT gates, and this is an AND gate. Now, we have not talked about the RS NOR latch right here. There's going to be two of them, but I'll try to explain them the best way I can shortly. So, let me just demonstrate what this does. So, let me, sh let me make sure the door is closed. Yes. So, here's our door, and here's our combination lock band. You don't need a fancy thing like I did. I was just bored. So, if we, int if you know the combination, which is 1, 4, if we go 1, 4, the door, boy, the door is open. Now, this is just a thing to reset the lock, and then this is where you can walk out from the base. Now, if you do not enter in 1, 4, or 4, 1, because this is not order sensitive, there is a way to do that with a memory array and RS neural latch array and all of that stuff. It's pretty complicated and it's an advanced thing. But if we were to do one, two, then this door will not open. As you can see, it's closed. And um, the reason why that works is because of the machinery we have over here. So um, I'm sorry if I mess up during this because I've only built this once as you can see. Um, I just thought it was something really cool and that um, I should make a video about it. So you're going to want to start out with your um, keypad. Let me just grab a button here. Because this is intended for buttons, not letters. So um, you can make this bigger. It's just harder to single out the lines. With, with, a, with a 2 by 2 space, it's pretty easy as you can see. So we're going to start out by putting torches on the back of every block with a button on it, and we're going to put two blocks here. Put redstone on both of these blocks, and then I need a repeater, and then put redstone repeaters around here. And this will single out the lines. So we get this one, only that one's going to go, only that one's going to go, only that one's going to go, and only that one's going to go. So we just single them out. Now this is where you're going to want to um, pick out your combo. Now mine is 1, 4 over here, so we're just going to do the same thing. So on the ones that you want your combination, you are going to want to put an extra repeater on it. So um, let me just go over there. And so for 1, 4, you're going to want to put them there because 1, 4, right? But on your other one, you're going to want to place a block. So it should look like this so far. Of course, different combinations will have to look different. Now, on your one that's not going to be the combination, like um, um, two and three, they should go into the bar. You're going to need to put a torch on top of that, and then make an OR gate on top of those. Now, this is the OR gate. Um, if you haven't checked out my beginner um, um, logic gate tutorial, that's it then you, I recommend checking that out because it'll explain what this does. So we hit that or this one that will turn on. And this is going to reset our RS more latches, which will make the door not open. And on the ones that are correct, we're going to, to make sorry, make those go into these. Now these are these are just not gates. They need they're just turning on. Now these are going to go into RS more latches, which we I have not talked about yet, but I'll explain how to make those. So, this is how you make an RS normal latch. It's simply two um, not gates going into each other, like this. I don't need to make the same thing on the other side. I hope I don't run out of room here because I built these kind of close, but you know, whatever. Now, what an RS normal latch does is it will flip um, the signal. So, as you see, if I were to place one, if I were to touch, um, push n number one, this will turn on, which will turn this off, which will allow this to go on, which will then make this stay off. 
Now over here, th this is what's going to run into our AND gates, which will eventually open the door. So I just need to copy that on this side. I think I'm going to run out of room here. I'm not sure yet, but now we just need to wire this to our AND gates, which we don't have so much want to explain that in full detail, but If that doesn't bother you, but um, this is all we need to make it work. Now, if you were to have, we're just going to use a piston because I don't want to build a big door like this. As you can see, if I were to press this, that would flip over, go into the end gate, and then do that. Like this, that would go over, which is what we want. But there are two problems now we can't close it. Once we go and manually um, do these RS small watches, and there's no way to to um, correctly um, this, um, make a secure lock because you can guess all of these and it'll still go on. I mean, you could press one, two, three, four, and the thing will still go up even though you didn't know the code. So there's this is where this reset line is going to go. Now, you can reset an RS4 watch by, um, yeah, you can reset an RS4 watch by doing something like this. Now, let me see what I did here. Right. Um, like I said, I only built this one, so excuse me if I kind of pause and look stupid, but yeah, that one. So. This reset line is going to reset all of our RS. Um, we will reset the lock if, if um, you press the wrong one. So if I hit this, oh, I have it connected up. Yeah, it's my cell phone. Um, so if I were to actually connect these two, then um, we should get all our thing to go down. What's the problem? You. There we go. So it resets both of them to default state, which will turn off your fan gate. Now, the reason why this is important to making a secure lock is because if you have one, right, it will turn that off. But if you were to press one, two, nothing happens. So you can go. Now, even though I pressed 1 and 4, it's not going to go up because you pressed 2 and 3. So, you can go like that, and it'll open. But if you were to press this after that, it'll go down. So, you have to know the combination in order to do it. Now, the only problem with this one is that it's not order sensitive. So, 4, 1 will still make it open, and vice versa. But, um, the way to make that order sensitive is pretty complicated stuff to understand. That's why this is the beginner combination lock because it only uses four redstone gates. That's literally all it is. You're singling out this and putting in red, um, redstone gates. So, um, all you need to do to make this close from the inside, so pretend this is your door. Well, you don't have to pretend, but um, you just need to take a um, an input and wire it into the um, reset line, which will um, reset the things again and close your combination lock, as you can see I've done here. Um, I recommend using diodes from this, however, because if it goes back, then it's just kind of messy. It might collide with your door, I don't know, but that's pretty much it. Like I said, it's very simple to understand, but it's a pretty hard concept. That's my automatic um, night light detector saying the time 500 for me. But, um, that's pretty much it. Um, thanks for watching. My name is MC Netherbits. Um, like, favorite, subscribe, and I hope this helped you. And um, thanks for watching.